Louis Vuitton has confirmed the discontinuation of these bags. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics of the Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I'm sure by now most of you have heard about the fact that Louis Vuitton has already discontinued one of its most beloved SLGs, the toiletry pouches, the 15, the 19, and the 26. I myself made my own video speculating as to why these pieces were discontinued along with telling you that they were in fact being discontinued and I will link that video above and below for you. But something that has been coming up a lot is the murmur that Louis Vuitton is discontinuing other canvas pieces, that other canvas pieces of Louis Vuitton are on the chopping block. Now mostly I've been hearing people worry about the SLG canvas pieces being discontinued, the small other good canvas pieces that are like the key pouches, stuff like that. But something bigger seems to be at play here. There are canvas bags that Louis Vuitton has actually already taken off the market and discontinued and just hasn't told people about yet. Or rather, they're only telling people who ask. Louis Vuitton has been trying to push their leather pieces for several years now in terms of making them be the forefront, making them be in the displays, and kind of shunting the canvas bags to the side. They still have very, very popular canvas bags that a lot of people love and buy, but Louis Vuitton hasn't really been as interested in selling those items. And now it looks like Louis Vuitton is making sure that they won't be selling those items anymore because several pieces have been discontinued under our noses. Now I had a recent comment from Free de Leon, who thank you so much for letting me know by the way, and also I hope I pronounced your name right, who said that she was recently in a Louis Vuitton store with her mother and the CA noticed her mother's Iana MM and commented on the fact that a lot of people were looking for the bag but were not able to find it because it had been discontinued. She also mentioned that she had been looking for the Bond Street BB and could not find it on the website anymore. And that got me thinking and got me concerned and so I did a little digging for you and this is what I found. First of all, there are definitely some bags that are no longer available on the US website that are still available on the European website. Now, I don't mean that they are available for sale, but I mean that they are still available if you search the name of the bag. And there are some bags on the US website that if you search them, nothing comes up. For instance, I started with the Iena because that was what Pre had mentioned. And if you do search the Iena on the Louis Vuitton European website, it still does come up in the search. But if you search it on the US Louis Vuitton website, it does not come up in the search. Same thing with the Bond Street BB. If you search the Bond Street BB on the European website, it does show up in search. But if you search it on the US website, all you get is the address for the Bond Street location, no bag. So what I started doing was I started comparing bags on the Louis Vuitton European website and the Louis Vuitton US website. And what I found was if you searched by monogram, so if you narrowed down all of your bag searching to monogram only, on the Louis Vuitton European website, you got 215 options. However, if you search the same four canvases on the US website, you only get 158 items. That means over 50 canvas pieces are missing from the US website and are no longer being sold on the US website. And I think the rest of the world is soon to follow. So from what I could gather of the bags that are available on the European website in search still, not necessarily to buy, but are no longer available in search on the US website are the Iena, MM and the PM, as I said, the Bond Street BB, the Palace and the Palace BB are available on the European website, but no longer on the US website. The Tambourine Bag and the Belmont MM. None of these bags are available for purchase on the US website. And by purchase, I mean you search for them and they do not show up in search. Now, I wanted to make sure that I got as much information as I could before I made this video to present the information to you. So I also contacted client services and I contacted client services, the chat feature. So I have receipts to show you. Now I asked specifically about the Iena MM and PM, the Bond Street BB and the Sienna PM. And the reason I asked about the Sienna is because I actually had a subscriber reach out to me on Instagram wanting to know if I knew anything about its availability and its availability in the future. Now, if you ever want to ask me any questions, by the way, or if you have some information for me, please let me know and send me a message on Instagram. I'm classics with a quirk, all one word. I would really appreciate hearing from you. Because this person reached out to me, I thought to ask about the Sienna PM as well. I actually have a video that I still plan to release on Saturday that I was really excited about and still am really excited about, but I think I might have to add a disclaimer to it because Having filmed the video before I made this video, some of my information is a little bit different. If you're interested in that video, do stay tuned, subscribe for more content, by the way, and if you are interested in stuff like this, and also information, insider information, because uh, I let you know as soon as I find out information like this, of course. But back to the topic of why I asked for those three items, that's why I asked about those three items. And 
what I got told by client services was confirmation that yes, the IANA has been discontinued. The Bond Street BB has been discontinued and the Sienna currently is not being sold online or in stores except for back stock. And they do not know when or if it's going to be restocked, period. This is news that I can't say I wasn't expecting, but I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't hear it. And I gotta say that doing the research into this video and cross-referencing what was and wasn't available on the European website versus the US website, I was pretty certain that I was going to be told that the IANA, for instance, was going to be discontinued. And I truly think that that's a shame that Louis Vuitton is trying to move away from their canvas pieces because the canvas pieces are what so many people know Louis Vuitton for and obviously what so many people love Louis Vuitton for. There are people that just aren't interested in the Louis Vuitton leathers. There are people that are really interested in the Louis Vuitton leathers and that's fine and good and great, but a lot of people fell in love with the canvas pieces first and desire the canvas pieces. Louis Vuitton is not only raising the prices to make the canvas pieces less available, but are now discontinuing quite a lot of them altogether so they cannot be sold or bought by the people who might seek them. And I don't think that other pieces are very far behind. Now you do have the Neverfull, you do have the Speedy, the Pochette Matisse, the On The Go that are all super popular right now and super sought after and are probably still going to be produced for a while because Louis Vuitton knows that they are very good sellers. But bags like the Bond Street BB, the Iana, the Sienna, bags that are less popular, less talked about on social media, are very quietly being tucked away and taken away from potential consumers, potential clients. Why is Louis Vuitton doing this? Well, we do know again that Louis Vuitton is trying to push the leathers and it's possible that Louis Vuitton is at this point saying, well, you wanna buy the canvas pieces instead of our leathers? Well, too bad, we're not gonna let you buy the canvas pieces so you can only buy the leathers if you want Louis Vuitton. And there are people who do want Louis Vuitton and if there are only leather pieces available, they might end up gravitating towards those. There's also the talk about oversaturation on the market, the fact that the average person can now afford the luxury that is Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton kind of doesn't want that to happen anymore. There's talk about counterfeiting and theft. There's all these problems that Louis Vuitton are taking steps to try to control, but really the ultimate form of control is to take away what people want. That's, that's just the fact of the matter. If Louis Vuitton wants complete control over their product, they're not going to be able to do that while the product is still free on the market. Removing the product completely is the only way Louis Vuitton can have complete and utter control on at least the future of the products. Because if it's pre-loved, Louis Vuitton obviously can't do anything about it, but they can say, you're no longer allowed to have this. You're no longer allowed to buy it from us. And if you want it, there's going to be a scarcity. You can buy it on the pre-love market, but that's all there's available. That's all you guys get. If you want Louis Vuitton, you have to buy the pieces we sell for our prices. And right now those are leathers. But yeah, it looks like Louis Vuitton is trying to distance itself from its canvas now. And you'll also notice that canvas pieces not only are not being sold on the website, but even the ones that haven't been discontinued, there's a renewed scarcity in them. And part of that might be production. After all, we still are in the midst of a worldwide crisis. And, you know, I talk about this kind of stuff because it's like a fun escapism for me. And I think it's interesting for you. I never mean to belittle anything that's going on in this world, especially not right now. But you know, that's, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that there's a scarcity in production and in supplies because of the situation that is currently happening. But Louis Vuitton doesn't seem to be having a problem producing the leather pieces that it wants to sell or providing leather pieces to people. It's the canvas pieces that are having this sudden scarcity and it's also the canvas pieces that are having holds put on them, which is to say that a store might have canvas pieces, they don't put them on the floor, they don't tell people that they have them. If a person asks, the client advisor might say, yes, we have the bag, it's in the back, I'll bring it out to you. Or the client advisor might have been told by management to say, I'm sorry, we don't have it right now, I can put you on a wait list. That further creates the idea of scarcity when not only things aren't being produced, but they aren't being presented. What does this mean in terms of the future of Louis Vuitton canvas pieces? Well, right now it means that there aren't very many. Now I can't imagine Louis Vuitton discontinuing, say the Speedy for instance, or the Key Falls. Those are a quintessential part of Louis Vuitton heritage and it is as Louis Vuitton as their trunks. Like you cannot say that Louis Vuitton doesn't in part identify with the Speedy as part of their brand image. They can't, I mean, Audrey Hepburn, like it's, it's too ingrained into them. But the Pochette Matisse, for instance, very popular and certainly very sought after, definitely scarce, but you can still get your hands on one, but popular enough to keep it on the shelves in canvas, 
Possibly not. Louis Vuitton does have leather versions of Bichette and Matisse. And if Louis Vuitton wants to sell their leather goods, they might be pushing the leather version of the Bichette Matisse and not necessarily having, stocking, or telling people that the Bichette Matisse in canvas or reverse monogram is available at all. Now, do I think that you should go out and panic purchase all the canvas pieces that you want? Well, that's kind of a tricky question because the answer is kind of yes. If you have the means to purchase a canvas piece that you like, and especially one that's been on your wish list for a while, I'd say snap it up, honestly, if you have the opportunity to, because they are going away. And they might not be going away forever. Some might. Some have been discontinued. The Iena is following the path of the totally. Totally was very popular, went away. Iena going away. Will there be another canvas zip top tote? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what Louis Vuitton is planning on doing. I can just report to you the information that I found it as I found it. And I really want to make sure that I report information that has sound fact behind it. I don't really like reporting on rumors. Occasionally I do. If I've heard the rumor from a number of different sources, I will tell you that something is happening, but I will specify that it is a rumor. I don't know for sure. This, I know for sure. And I wanted to make sure that you guys also knew it. Again, if this is something that you're interested in following, I would recommend subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell because that means that you find out this information as soon as I do because I try to make a video as soon as I find out. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. What do you think about Louis Vuitton discontinuing these canvas pieces, especially these popular canvas pieces? They might not be the most social media inclined canvas pieces, but I know a lot of people still really like the Sienna, the Bond Street Beat E, the Iena, like all of those bags are still really loved and enjoyed by a lot of people. And if other bags are going to follow along this path, like I'd just love to hear your opinion. So please do leave me a comment down below or again, send me a message on Instagram, classes with a quirk, all one word. If you like this video, please do give it a like because it super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content because it helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Now I had a recent commenter, Pre de Leon, who I wanna say thank you so much for letting me know. And also I hope I pronounced her name wrong, wrong, right. I hope I pronounced her name right.